Scale of the Universe The Milky Way galaxy is a spiral galaxy home to the solar system with a black hole at the centre. It has approximately 10 to the power of 11 stars and 7 new stars form each year. It's about 100,000 light years across. The Curtis and Shapley debate Curtis believed that the universe was made up of many galaxies and spiral nebulae, whereas the Sun was the centre of the galaxy. Shapley believed that the universe was one giant galaxy and the Sun was far from the centre of the galaxy. They were both right and wrong. Hubble's discoveries Hubble settled the debate by discovering objects outside the galaxy. He studied nebula, working out the distance by calculating distance to severed variables within it by brightness and pulse frequency. He discovered stars 2.5 million light years away, much further than any stars in our galaxy. He concluded that they were in separate spiral galaxies. Redshift. Distant galaxies are moving away from us. Hubble compared the speed and distances for many different galaxies and found the more distant the galaxy, the faster it moves away from us. He did this by calculating how much the wavelength of light had been redshifted. This all suggests the universe is expanding from a single point. Hubble's law. Speed of recession equals Hubble constant times distance. Gas behavior. Kinetic theory says gases are made of very small particles moving in random directions. Particles collide with elastic collisions. Volume of atoms is negligible compared to container. There are no intermolecular forces. And the collision time is negligible. Kinetic energy is proportional to temperature. Temperature of a gas in kelvins is proportional to average kinetic energy of its particles. If you increase the temperature, you give the particles more energy. To convert Celsius to kelvins, just add 273. Pressure times volume equals constant. This is because if you put the same amount of gas in a bigger container, pressure decreases because there are fewer collisions between the particles and the walls. Pressure divided by temperature equals constant. Heating a gas gives the particles more kinetic energy so collisions will be much harder, so pressure will increase. Volume divided by temperature equals constant. Doubling the temperature means the volume doubles as the molecules are further apart so collisions happen less frequently but with more force due to kinetic energy increase. So if you halve the volume, you double the pressure. And if you double the temperature, you double the pressure. And if you double the temperature, you double the volume. Fusion. Two nuclei combine to create a larger nucleus. Nuclei can only fuse if they are brought close together. During fusion, mass is lost and energy is released. Einstein realized mass could be converted to energy, so mass is a form of energy. So therefore, energy and mass are equivalent. E equals mc squared star spectra. Hot objects emit continuous range of frequencies, a spectrum. Temperature depends on peak frequency. A higher peak frequency equals higher temperature. Colors. A red star has a low frequency, so it's cool. A yellow star has a medium frequency, so it's fairly cool, such as the sun. A blue star has high frequency, so it's very hot. Line spectra. Electrons move between energy levels if they gain or lose energy. When electrons are removed from the atom, it's called ionization. Absorption spectra. At high temperatures, electrons become excited and jump into higher energy levels by absorbing radiation, a particular frequency. Electrons in gas atoms absorb certain frequencies of light, making gaps in spectrum. Emission spectra. Electrons are unstable in higher energy levels, so fall to lower levels, lose energy and emit radiation of a particular frequency, leaving a series of bright lines formed by emitted frequencies. Each emission spectrum is unique. That's how you tell them apart. Stars. Stars start out as clouds of dust and gas. Gravity causes the denser regions to contract slowly. Protostar. It continues to collapse under gravity, reducing in volume and increasing in pressure. Temperature and pressure eventually become high enough in the core for nuclear fusion to begin. Then it becomes a main sequence star. Main sequence stars have hydrogen in their core. The core is where fusion takes place. It's hotter and denser than the rest of the star. The convection zone is where heat is transferred to the surface via convection currents. The photosphere is where more convection currents and photons of radiation transfer heat energy. 